Good morning, everybody. It is me, Josh. It's Well Forecast, guys, and welcome back to the video. Hope you guys are all enjoying your wonderful Saturday morning. Uh, you're probably wondering why I'm posting actually super early. It's because um, the new GFS just came out, and there's a, quite a bit of updates on this winter storm that will be affecting areas into the northern plains, the Rockies, and the Midwest throughout um, uh, late this weekend into early uh, early next week. So it could be causing a couple issues, possibility for uh, travel issues. And yeah, uh, and also uh, me and my friend are going to hang out like at 1230. So I'm going to just get this video uh before so i can respond to your comments before i leave and then i have another video out on this uh on the warm front later this afternoon early afternoon and then i'll have a another one out this evening on the cold front uh so i don't have a triple upload today because i have to go to my um my dad's friend's dad birthday uh so yeah, but yeah, if you guys are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, guys. It really, really means a lot when you guys support my channel. We've been getting a ton of new subscribers and a ton of new supporters the past couple of days, and it really means a lot. We've been getting quite a lot of support on my past couple of videos, too. But yeah, without further ado, let's get in this video. All right, so we're going to be looking at the National Weather Service right now. We actually have a couple of new advisories, but not necessarily really huge new updates on these advisories, but we do have now winter storm warnings now. Uh, but yeah. We do have uh, windstorm advisories now for areas near Helena, Montana, and Bozeman. Uh, we do have a couple just surrounding Billings, Montana. Again, it will be more of a north central and southeastern Montana snowstorm because in Montana, like they get affected different places all over eight for each snowstorm. So it's going to be more of a southeastern or north central storm. We are also going to be seeing some. Um, advisory for the higher elevation to do into north central Idaho. We and also we have a couple of threats out here for Yellowstone National Park. We have windstorm warnings in those areas. We'll be getting a lot of snow and very heavy snow at times. We also do have a couple um high wind warnings in effect near Cheyenne. So we will be seeing some high winds with this storm. So look, look, there could be potentially some very windy conditions that could definitely decrease the uh, visibility but i don't necessarily think it's going to have uh really blizzard warnings um i really don't think it's necessarily to have one storm warning with this yet but if it really gets worse with these new updates i believe there's maybe a chance for a couple just a little bit out there near um near the area near Yellowstone national park we also have a couple ones from advisors out here uh, for western uh, Colorado and the higher elevations and also with storm watches throughout those areas into north central uh, New Mexico. So that's really it. Once we get more to tomorrow, we'll have a bit more widespread and then by, definitely by Monday we'll have a lot. But yeah, now let's look into the European radar. Alright, so we're going to be looking at the European radar right now. This has also updated. So again, this is by uh, later tomorrow. We'll start to see some more snow throughout areas into north or into central Idaho and see some snow out there for northern northwestern Montana. So as you can tell, by, uh, by later Sunday, we'll see a huge amount of snow throughout areas into southwestern uh, Colorado. We'll have a lot of snow in those areas, also in far northern New Mexico. And we're going to be seeing quite a bit of snow again. Very, very heavy snow throughout these areas into north central Montana. Again, seeing very heavy snow, possibly whiteout conditions. But again, if there's any blizzard, con is there any blizzard warnings, it will, be, it will be in Montana and possibility for Yellowstone National Park. But I really don't think it's going to be as widespread as most storms. Uh, but again, it, with blizzard conditions, and then as we get now into Monday, that's when it's a lot more widespread. We will be seeing very heavy snow throughout these areas into uh, southern North Dakota and areas through western Minnesota. But we'll see the snow w very widespread throughout areas into that panhandle of Michigan and also all the way to western Colorado. We'll be seeing some uh, moderate to moderate to heavy to heavy snow. We're going to be seeing a lot of accumulation. We are going to be seeing some snow out here through Casper, Wyoming, all the way into areas near Duluth, Minnesota. Again, this is by early Monday morning. I don't necessarily think we're going to see really some uh, so a lot of school uh, dismissals, but again, all that can change. But as we get down the next 72 hours, we'll be seeing this huge amount of snow throughout these areas into the Midwest. We're going to be set some very heavy snow throughout Fargo. We're going to be seeing some very heavy snow throughout Minneapolis, and St. Paul, and Duluth. We're going to be seeing some very heavy snow throughout uh, throughout late morning of Monday. As we get later into the afternoon on Monday, we'll see a lot more snow throughout these areas. We're going to be seeing uh, going to be seeing some very uh, some very heavy snow throughout Minneapolis, Eau Claire, and to the uh, near areas near Marquette, Duluth, Minnesota. We'll see some more snow out here into Iowa, and then as we get later into Tuesday. 
as that's when we get into Tuesday, that's when we see the snow threat getting a bit closer to Mass and Wisconsin. We could be some some uh, some snow out here from Milwaukee, some snow out here from Muskegon, Michigan, Ayers, and Green Bay. Going to still see some a bit lighter to moderate snow. And then it should be over again by Tuesday afternoon. Just a little bit of snow throughout those areas um, into the northeast and a little bit of late effect snow throughout those areas. Uh, but again, that will just mostly move into Canada by then. But now we're going to be looking at the um, the new GFS. I think it's how it's just loaded right now. Uh, so as we get now into the next 24 hours, that's when we'll start to see the snow kind of uh, kind of out here into north central Montana. A little bit of snow again for Yellowstone National Park. and be some very heavy snow. As you can tell, it's going to be very dark shade of blue. And then as we get down to the next 36 hours, that's when we'll start to see that snow a bit more widespread. It's going to be uh, quite heavy at times for western south, uh, for western North Dakota. And also, again, very heavy snow throughout southeastern Montana. Like, as I said in early in the video, it's going to be a north central storm and also a southeastern storm for Montana. By later into Monday uh, morning, we were all, we we will be seeing a huge um, a huge difference in snowfall. Now we'll start to see some uh, we'll start to see some very heavy snow, potentially blizzard conditions. But I really don't think it's going to be as bad. Uh, again, we will be seeing some very heavy snow throughout Duluth, Minnesota. Some lighter snow for Eau Claire and Minneapolis. Going to be some lighter, some just light flurries. Maybe some snowfall, but again, won't be too bad. But as we get later into uh, Monday, kind of Monday night, that's when it really starts to pick up for areas near Rochester, Eau Claire. Really going to pick up near Marquette, Michigan. Also going to start picking up Green Bay. We'll start to see that snow. Looks like Iowa City and Des Moines can get into this. Won't be seeing a huge amount of accumulation, but we'll, so, we'll see some snowfall. And then as we get later to Tuesday morning, that's when we'll see that very heavy snow throughout Milwaukee, Green Bay, Madison, Wisconsin, Marquette. So it's going to be a huge little band that's stretching all the way to all the way to Nova Scotia. And then it should just bring in a little, some little showers out here by Tuesday afternoon or Tuesday morning. And then by Tuesday, um, around noon on Tuesday, it will be mostly over. So again, I'm not going to be super duper duper long lasting to next week, but it's still going to cause some threats that are early next week with possibly just school travel and all that. So now we'll be looking at the next 35 hours. That's where we'll really start to see that snow really picking up. But we'll be seeing some very heavy snow throughout these areas in the southeastern uh, Montana. Could be blizzard conditioned again. I'm not saying there's not going to be blizzard conditioned. I'm just saying it's not going to be as widespread. Uh, but uh, yes, definitely we're going to see some blizzard conditions throughout southeastern Montana. And also again, near areas near Yellowstone, we'll also be seeing some very heavy snow again. Also, it's only really blizzard conditions because of these winds. If we didn't have those winds, it would just be some very, very heavy snow. As we get the next 44 hours, or sorry, 45 hours, we'll see. Uh, it start, it's actually going to really pick up the pace again. We have a high pressure system right behind it, so we won't. That's why we won't have so much rain behind and in front of the system. So that's kind of good. We don't have to deal with those ice and sleet threats. Um, and again, we'll start to see that lighter snow into um, uh, Duluth. We'll start to see that very heavy snow throughout areas into western Minnesota. Also out there into northeastern South Dakota, we see some very heavy snow. Into the next 48 hours, we'll start a huge amount of snowfall throughout Minnesota, Minneapolis. We'll just see a huge pickup, just gonna really pick up very, very fast. Again, this won't be a very light snowfall uh, when it comes. It's gonna come in heavy, and then it's gonna end heavy too. Gonna bring very heavy snow throughout Minneapolis and Eau Claire, especially throughout these areas into Green Bay. Uh, into Wisconsin, sorry, north central, we're getting very heavy snow, and then we will have a little bit of showers out here into Iowa again. This next 48 hours. And then we'll start to see that heavier snow by the next 60 hours arriving to areas in Green Bay. And then we'll start to see some snow showers throughout this areas in your mass Wisconsin. And of course, we'll later on after like the next 70 hours or sorry, 66 hours, we'll start to see that snow fall into the areas in mass or into mass Wisconsin. And of course, Milwaukee and maybe even north central Illinois. I'm sorry, Illinois. Uh, but we are going to be looking at now the um, the snowfall, um, the snowfall uh, for the uh, European radar. Hasn't really changed that much, but I, I guess you could say there's a bit of an increase for some areas, but again, not really necessarily that big of a uh, difference here. It's kind of more of a GFS thing, but we are seeing a, a, up to around uh, 11 or actually around a foot of snow throughout areas near Mon uh, northwestern Montana, again, those higher elevations, and up to a foot of snow near Yellowstone National Park, more like 8, 9 inches, but we have a couple areas that will be getting up to 13 inches, more of that... Um, more the southern or more of the uh, far western part of the of the national park 
We'll also be seeing some very heavy snow throughout uh, western Colorado up to nine or up to nine to eleven inches. That those higher elevations, especially right here into western Colorado and also right here to southwestern Colorado. And we have we could have a couple inches out there near New Mexico, but not much accumulation. And then we will be seeing this again, this little area right here. Uh, we will be seeing up to now uh, two to three inches of snowfall. So again, it has picked up a little bit more from Minneapolis up to uh, now uh, at up to now three to four inches for Bismarck. So that's also gone up Fargo up to around uh, two to three inches of snowfall. Again, not going to be as much snowfall for South Dakota. That's a new change on this European. We'll be seeing up to four to five inches for Duluth. Not really of a change there, and up to around six and a half inches throughout that northern part of Green, uh, uh, that northern part of Wisconsin. That'll be getting a lot of snow. Looks like we'll just have maybe an inch or or less than an inch for Milwaukee, Madison, Wisconsin, but around an inch or two for Green Bay, Wisconsin. But now we'll be looking at what we get to here. Um, so this is what the um this is what the uh. Uh, the GFS is showing right here. So again, we'll be seeing quite a lot more snow now. Looks like we can be seeing a lot less snow for South Dakota with these new updates on the GFS and European. So that's a new update, but or new agreement. But we're gonna be seeing a huge disagreement right here now. We're gonna be showing up to around six to seven inches of snowfall throughout west or southwestern North Dakota and also that far eastern part of uh, Montana. Again, gonna be seeing a lot of snow throughout areas into um, Montana. And up to two feet of snowfall in your uh, Yellowstone National Park. So those uh, that's also a big difference. Uh, but a good thing is not too many people live near Yellowstone. So that won't affect too many people. But we will be seeing again the same snowfall throughout Minneapolis. With the two inches of snowfall areas near Green Bay. Around the same amount of snowfall in that areas near uh, central Minnesota. We'll begin up to around three and a half inches to four and a half inches of snowfall. And then a lot of snowfall throughout these areas into northern Michigan and northern Wisconsin with up to 7 to 8 inches of snowfall. So, again, that's going to be really the maximum amount of snowfall throughout the Midwest up to 8 to 9 or 7 to 8 inches, which isn't too bad for the Midwest. But, yeah, hope you got into the video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And, yeah, I'll have another video out later this afternoon. Bye, guys.